Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Adrian Gonzalez, and this is Finance and Coffee, a podcast where we speak about money, business, and finance in today's world. And I am accompanied by my amazing co-host, Marco Alonzo. What is going on, y'all? And uh, today we're super excited to come to you. It's actually a very special episode today because it's our uh, it's our first our first video today, right? Yeah. It's Def- either going to be our first or our yeah, second. second. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. According to what the camera is yeah, saying. We'll see if we recorded that but, last uh, video. Either way, we're super we're super stoked, man. Um, we're actually going to be speaking about about the Coca Cola company today, which is very cool. I uh, I was actually asking you this before we started recording, but you you've never been to the Coke factory in Atlanta. Nope. I went as a, I went as a, in high school. Atlanta, I've only been to the airport. I've never been around the city. You got to go, bro. It's super cool. It's like they have a, they have a whole section where you can taste the Coca-Colas from all over the world. So it does it by continent. So it has like North America and it has Mexico, Canada, Australia, Africa. It tastes different, right? Bro, so different. I I don't know what it is when I go to Colombia or Mexico. I love their Coca-Cola bottled. Like it has to be from a bottle. Like. I know when we do Taco Tuesdays here, I always get it. Three tacos yeah, and a bro, Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola from the bottom. Yeah. So, not, so not on draft. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke, right? Yeah, All I'm the way. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I got friends have, who are Pepsi. When I think of the company of Coke, I just have way more right. sodas that I like from Coke yeah. versus like Pepsi. Because I think yeah. from Pepsi, the only thing I like is I think Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And Mountain, I, I like Mountain Dew. I don't know about you. I'm not a big no. fan. Yeah. Sprite all the way. Yeah. Sprite yeah, is actually my yeah. favorite soda yeah. of all. Yeah. Um, so it's cool, man. I love it. I love, I love Coke. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it was founded in January of 1892. Officially, was the founder was Asa Griggs Candler. He was a business tycoon in the 1800s. So uh, he founded the Coca-Cola company, but he was not the original person who created the formula. Uh, some fun facts is he um, Coca-Cola was created for medicinal reasons by John Stith Pemberton. He was a pharmacist who worked at Walgreens. And... Uh, the formula and brand of Coca-Cola were purchased, catch this, for $2,300 in 1891. That is the equivalent in today's money of $65,693 with 56 cents. Wow. That guy stole that from the original founder, bro. Yeah, for a multi-billion dollar company. Oh, my absolutely. God. Insane. So he uh, from, and this is actually a pretty cool fact I learned when I went there and I Googled it to make sure it was right. But from 1886 to 1959, a six and a half uh, ounce glass of Coca-Cola, they used to sell them, like at the bars and stuff, uh, was five cents. Okay. So the price did not change for 70 years. So they didn't care about inflation. The, obviously, it cost, the cost went up. They didn't care. They were selling it for five cents because that was the original price that the owner wanted to sell it at. So they honored his legacy. Um, for that time. And then obviously they went out to make billions and billions of dollars. But um, last fun fact is the Coca-Cola formula is not patent. Instead, it is declared to be a trade secret. That's very interesting. <clears throat> it's because if you patent something, you have to give every single detail of the product or service. So the, the original owner of Coca-Cola said, I do not want to patent this because I don't want anyone else knowing exactly what, what we put in Coca-Cola. Yeah. Instead, it's a trade secret. So meaning that uh, if anyone figures out what's inside of it, you legally do not own the right to like sue them for the contents that, that they're creating. But he's like, I'll take, I'll take my chances because if, if it's a trade secret, no one else knows. But if you patent it, you have the right to the entire product, but anyone can just like copy it and change it just a little bit and it'll be different. I believe patents also expire, they if do. I'm not mistaken. After 100 years. After 100? Something like that. I think it varied based on like thing. I, thought, might, I heard one might. of them where it's like it it lasts only like ten. Like I know pharmaceuticals, they have weird right. timelines. Like I'm not an expert. I just yeah. I, I could see why they would not pan it for that reason as yeah. well because it's it's restricted on yeah. time. So it's super 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 cool when I learned that fact. That yeah. that is pretty dope. I did not know that. Yeah. Alrighty, finances in 2018 net operating revenue was 31.9 <laughs> billion dollars. The first word out of your mouth was net, by the way. Yeah, net. <laughs> that- <laughs> $31.9 billion dollars in net income, bro. That's a lot. Jesus. That's a lot of soda, dude. That is, bro. I was... That's uh, a lot of sugar, man. Off topic, I was I was at a theme park. I lied. I wasn't at a theme park. I was in Orlando. And I was sitting at a restaurant and just conversating with the people around us. And we met a, an employee of the, of the theme park. And the... Um, the I think he worked at Universal. And basically, they had a contract with Coca-Cola 
to supply their soda. And he worked in the back at the stock room where they got all their, their supplies. And he unloads all the Coca-Cola trucks. And he looks at the invoices. And the invoices for the water is free. So what happens is they they the contract is Universal pays so much money for their soda that they give them free Dasani water. And they sell it at the parks for like four, three, four dollars a bottle. Wow. So they're making a hundred percent profit off of those bottled waters. Jesus. Off 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 topic, but I thought that That's was crazy. Great, yeah. Well, Dasani water sucks. It does. So I don't know. I hate Dasani water. I mean, <laughs> it's so disgusting. I wouldn't even pay for that anyway. Yeah. That might be one of the reasons they give it away for free. For free because it water tastes like sucks. Crap. <laughs> it tastes like straight tr- trash. <laughs> and I'm not even like a water enthusiast. Yeah. I just, I, just, I do not like this, Sonny. That's funny. Anyways, I'm more of a Zephyr Hills kind of guy. Yeah. I don't get too crazy. And like, I, don't, I don't need the Fiji water, but, I feel you know, you. not this, Not anything, anything but this, <laughs> Yeah, anything but this, Sonny. <laughs> um, Coca-Cola was initially offered as an IPO in 1919 for $40 a share. That's a lot of money. For 1919, that is a lot That's of money. That's a lot of money, bro. It says there, yeah. That is a lot of money. Equivalent of six hundred and twenty-two dollars and ninety-seven cents in twenty twenty. Yeah, that's crazy. Imagine a company starting an IPO with that. Oh yeah, that's that that is a lot. Roof. That is a lot. Yeah. Even for today's standards, I don't think there's a company that IPOs at that level. Yeah, bro. But we're talking about Coca Cola here. True. Come on. True. If you had invested forty dollars in a single share of Coca Cola in nineteen nineteen during the IPO. You own nine thousand two hundred and sixteen shares after all the stock splits over the years. That equates to three hundred ninety-four thousand five hundred as of March twenty-six, two thousand and twenty. Holy crap! That's a lot of dinero. That's a lot of money, bro. Wow, they had a lot of splits then. They did. Jesus. Over the years, it's been, it's been a hundred and one years as of today, as of twenty twenty. I believe I read somewhere that Warren Buffett is not a fan of that. Really? Yeah, he's of not splitting. A, of splitting, yeah. Why? He says it adds no value, historically. That's crazy. That's, that's very interesting. Yeah. I believe he's well, not, it he's doesn't, not a fan though. of it. If you look at the whole track record, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I think the, the reason to split is to allow to other allow consumers other people and to, other investors yeah, to come in. But I purchase. feel like historically over time, I think he says something like it really doesn't. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Um, have you seen how much Berkshire Hathaway uh, shares? Of Coca-Cola? No. of, of uh, it's like a, If it's you in, wanted to buy Berkshire it's Hathaway. It's in the thousands. Yeah, it's in the thousands. It's really yeah. expensive. He's yeah. never split. So he, he obviously doesn't care Dang. about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Having reinvested dividends, owing, uh, owning one IPO share of Coca-Cola stock would have returned over $10 million. Yeah. They, they say that over the last 57 years, dividends have increased every single year. Nice. So if you would have literally just taken the money that you've had, $40, and reinvested your dividend money into Coca-Cola stock, you would have had $10 million. Nice. Off of your, your initial $40 investment. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. All that's, right. That's pretty good. good show. <laughs> brands owned by... Oh, yeah. no, this is you, bro. Now nah, you're good, bro. So I'm brands good. owned by Coca-Cola, your favorite, Sprite, Fanta, your second favorite, Dasani. <laughs> <laughs> $21 billion is, yeah, brand? I put that in there. That's not bad for a yeah, shit water. <laughs> that is not bad. Yeah. So Dasani's 21... It's, I, I think it's like his highest grossing... Well, obviously, because they own different water, but it's the highest grossing water company that Coca-Cola owns. I believe Coca-Cola is the biggest... One of the biggest owners of water. I agree. Yes. I, yeah. Is it that or, or Nestle? Both of them. But I, of them? Coca-Cola is one of the biggest. One of them? Okay. Correct. Yeah. Right. So they own Dasani. Smart Water is another one. Uh, Simply Orange, like the Orange Juice Powerade, and they own a bunch of other companies. Yeah. But that, that was kind of like the biggest ones that people can recognize. Um, and then kind of just getting into some of the news that have dropped, which is where we're going. One of the Actually, one of the water companies they own is Topo Chico. I don't know if you've heard about it. But nah. to, Topo Chico is like a it's like a sparkling uh, mineral water, so it's okay. like Perrier or something like that, right? So Coca Cola owns them, and um, they just dropped today, ironically enough, Molson Coors to launch Coca Cola's first alcoholic beverage in the U.S. Topo Chico Hard Seltzer. So they've teamed up with Coors, like oh, like God. Coors Light, you know, stuff like that, to drop their first alcoholic seltzer, like uh, the White White Claw. Jeez. So that's what that that's what's gonna happen. Do you like what call? I've drunk it once. I'm not a big fan of it, really. Okay. You like White Claw? I like it more than Truly. Truly. Truly is the other one. It's a competitor. Really? Yeah. Not a crazy. Not a crazy for it, but yeah. it's a. Uh, I don't dislike it. It's not I don't bad. either. But it's just it, it's it's crazy how like I I didn't like the hard seltzer thing right. when I saw Corona get into it. Yeah. Corona which, which now I've, have their I've own heard seltzer. Is, I've heard it's nasty. 
I haven't, I haven't tried, tried it, it, but I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? Bud Light has like, don't tell yeah. shit too. No, they're all they're all like jumping on yeah. that train. I, I don't like when I see that. Like when yeah. these companies like they, they when you don't it. when you don't think like Bud Light, like dude, when I think of Bud Light, I think of like good beer. old American <laughs> like beer. Like you yeah. do not this is this is not your lane, but yeah. whatever. And but no, I, I did not know that they, they got into this. Supposedly, seltzers have increased over like the past two or three years because of White Claw, yeah. which is owned by My Cards Lemonade. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. So we, we kind of figured that out together. But their sales have increased. Um, and it says, uh, according to the news article, the drink will be sold in 12 packs of four flavors, which is the Topo Chico flavors. So it's like they, that mineralized water. They have those flavors. Lemon lime, exotic pineapple, Strawberry guava and tropical mango. Okay. So I think it's a it's a very interesting thing. They've they've steered away from alcohol, and then all of a sudden they're jumping on this train. It's kind of kind of weird, don't you think? I think it is. I think, but you gotta understand when you know trying to get into the alcohol business. That's you, I mean you gotta have deep pockets yeah. because these the, alcohol is pretty much all conglomerates. You right. know you got your there's like Anheuser three, Busch. Yeah, Anheuser yeah. Busch is like there's a couple of other ones, but they're yeah. all like just these huge the conglomerates yeah. of like. Beer and anything that comes yeah. up is just gets bought out by them. So I can see why Coca Cola um, might not want to get too much into the uh, to the alcohol game. And I think because uh, this hard seltzer is relatively new, right. and I think it's still in that early stages where anyone can kind of just jump in and dominate, and kind of like yeah. the winner of of this little race wins it all. Um, I, I I personally think White Claw for some reason when I think of seltzer, seltzer. that I think yeah. of like White Claw when it comes to the alcoholic ones. I think they're taking the lead, but I can see why. I, Coke might be like, oh, let's try to get in this game and see if we can, yeah. you know, uh, put, you know, push it, maybe, maybe take a stand on this. But um, alcohol, especially when it comes to like, you know, the dis- on the distribution of like, that's not really something you have to have major deep oh, pockets yeah. to get into that because you're playing against like extremely yeah. hard players and, and plus all the, the, the network and the uh, like the distribution of it. It's just, yeah. it's, it's, it's a terrible <coughs> business. Like yeah. you have to have a, an immense amount of expertise, which Coca Cola does, does have. 100%. But, um, they already have everything. Yeah. They have the factories. Yeah. They have the distribution lines. Yeah, they, they have everything. Yeah. So I, I think it was a smart move for them to get in. I, I don't think it's bad. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. The hard seltzer thing is 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 really popping right now. Um, it's, it's super trendy. Yeah. Um, and I, again, I think White Claw still takes it, but Topo Chico, yeah, we'll see. We'll I see how we'll this see, plays yeah. out. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as you know, Coca Cola is a worldwide company. Yeah. So this is their first time trying to do it in the U.S. Yeah. So they're they're kind of like Coca Cola is essentially like the out. Nike of clothing. Yeah. Like what? Because when you because you think about like this again, I mean, we've talked about this millions of times, but you know, when a brand is able to become a like a verb. Yeah. Um, you know, you've you've surpassed. You know, yeah. you don't search things up. You Google, you Google things. Them, you know, yeah. and we're not like, you know, sometimes we don't even say like we're gonna chill and watch movies you're gonna netflix, netflix and chill yeah. you know you know i'm gonna grab a coke a coke is you know it's a it's a it's yeah. a brand it's not a it's not a soda it's not yeah. a pop right yeah. yeah before i think before coke it used to be called pop so um yeah i mean they're they're massive i think they can definitely they can definitely do some damage yeah um but i think it's it's still narrow in the sense that like it's hard seltzer yeah who knows if that's gonna last I don't know, and 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 the other thing is, I think the age, the the the, the person that drinks beer, yeah, and the person that drinks like wine, and the person like this is the hard seltzer is definitely like Young a adults. different type of 100%. person, like a a field. And the thing is, the hard seltzer can really go, they can go off that whole like healthy, you know, low caloric, which is you know big right now. Yeah. So I can definitely see this thing making its own kind of lane, yeah, and where Coke Coca Cola really wants to get into it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it too, man. I think, uh, I think personally Coca-Cola is one of my favorite companies just personally. I mean, I think that that the way they market is phenomenal. They have a lot of different things that they do. I mean, they have a, you know, billion dollar budget. So yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, unfair to other well, companies. Well, they're extremely profitable. Oh, yeah. And there's, there's something to say about a company that's been performing so well that has Over, consistent. Yeah. I mean, this is like a, your typical safe stock that you're oh, going to yeah. put your money in there and you're always, you know, you're going to get dividends and, you know, revenues are consistent. Yep. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Like there's nothing too complex. I mean, that they, you know, it says, it speaks a lot for itself. It does. Um, I wanted to say something else. There was something I really liked about Coca-Cola. Oh, they had, when they had their marketing campaign where they put like, you know, share it with the name. Yeah. That was a genius move. Yeah, it was. That was very, very good. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
I, I believe their sales spiked immensely because of that. And it created this yeah. whole like brand thing where it, like just reignited Coca Cola to mm-hmm. a whole new level. And I, I believe that was like what a couple years ago? It, it was like four, four I was, or five years ago. Yeah, I was actually in college <clears throat> when what it was right before college, but I was in college and we, we I was taking a marketing class and we were funny enough talking about Coca Cola and that strategy that they used. And then I think in Australia there was like a huge decline in Coca Cola because of they were like being healthy and no more soda and they dropped that campaign. And Coca-Cola sales spiked, like in Australia, Big and, and New Zealand, in that area, where it was like they were pushing for the opposite, you know. And like with well, now with Coke Zero or you know whatever Coke Free Sugar Coke it is, um, they 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 did the same thing. They kind of kept the name on there, and they did 